All right, so we are here with Matt Wiemet, who is the president and CEO of Cedar Fair. Matt, thanks a lot for having us out here today. So you, you've been in your office hiding all morning. You had something important going on. You want to tell us a little bit about it? Sure. It's uh, Obviously, it's Val Raven, or we wouldn't have you guys here. Yeah. And so uh, the one little uh, anecdote I will tell you, though, is Val Raven's drop faces my office. Ah, so <laughs> every time there's 24 people screaming, I look up from my desk. <laughs> so uh, actually, I'm really proud of what they've done here, and I hope you guys are too. Yeah, yeah it's been great. So um, you've been on the coaster, I guess, I right? Mm -hmm. uh, what has been your biggest surprise in riding? I think that actually the biggest surprise is about the 10 seconds you have when it's when you're horizontal up there before mm -hmm. you get it hang over the edge, because you see almost every other coaster in the park, and there's just kind of this karma to it, and then yeah. all of a sudden. This big bird kicks your butt and hangs <laughs> over the edge. Uh, and the other thing is I love, and this is really important to us, I think it's it's smooth, it's highly repeatable. It's thrilling, but when I get off, I want to get right back on. And I think that means more people ride it and more people ride it more often. So Cedar Fair's been really busy the last few years with some really big enhancements. Cedar Point, I mean, Gatekeeper and How About Raven. Um, do you ever sleep? Or do you just <laughs> <laughs> I sleep, I don't let Rob Decker sleep. Oh, right, okay, <laughs> okay. So this is also, is this your third year as CEO? It's my fourth year fourth as CEO, year my CEO. fifth year with the company. Uh, and I can't tell you how fortunate I am. You know, you get to meet the people I get to work with and the quality of the people uh, from Rob Decker uh, to, the, to the ladies I just met who are here from the Philippines running the retail shop. You know, that's the type of people I like working with. So it typically takes two to three years for a coaster to, to turn from an idea into an actual ride. Has, have you been along for that entire process then, or was some of this already in play from your predecessor, Dick Kinzel? No, this one we've been along for the whole ride. And, and you know, the time frame's narrowed down to be about more two and a half years. So uh, I'm going through my memory here. I mean, there's at least two or three that right now that are in play uh, for the next two and three years. So, um, no, it's been, it's great to be part of it. You know, basically, again, I'll give credit, a lot of credit to Rob Decker. I mean, he's a genius when it comes to this. And it's not, for us anymore, it's not just about the coaster, it's about the place we create. So if you think about the number of people who won't ride this, maybe because they physically can't or they emotionally can't, uh, they can sit here and enjoy it in a way that very few parks offer. How big and how, how important is it to you guys, I guess, when you do that to create these spaces and really make a, an entrance and a statement like you did with Gatekeeper and what you did with Fury last year at Carowinds. I think it's important. It's it's a couple things. One is it speaks to the quality of our brand. I think we want to differentiate ourselves from more generic amusement parks, and I think we're clearly doing that. The other is, again, it's about I want everybody to have fun, and there's always somebody who came to the park not to ride coasters but to be with their friends, and spaces like this l allow them to have fun. The other thing we've done is we've added uh, free Wi-Fi for, for our parks, and so that actually helps too. So think about the person who's waiting for the person either in line or on the coaster. They get to do other things, uh, you know, that make them comfortable and happy while their their friends are riding the roller coaster. The weather's in Ohio, especially northern Ohio, can be a little brutal. Uh, yeah, as we look up the clouds <laughs> and, and snow over the, during the winter, have you ever considered moving Cedar Fair headquarters to to Buena Park? <laughs> the fortunate thing is half my headquarters is in Buena Park. I, I, uh, Rafi Caprelli and our general manager there, who yeah. you know I'm extremely proud of, gets more of my attention than maybe anybody, yeah. oh. particularly in February. <laughs> the, uh, oh, I can't imagine why. The, the, uh, and think about that park. You know, we're standing here in this park where a big bad roller coaster makes a difference. He hasn't had a big bad roller coaster. He's made a huge difference there with the log ride and the... And the um, or the Timber Mountain Log Ride and the Mine Ride and all the stuff he's done with entertainment. And of course now they will, and I hope you guys will come back for, Ghost Rider will reopen here shortly. It is going to be, and uh, no doubt, the best uh, wooden roller coaster west of the Rockies. It's going to be something that uh, guests are going to be proud of again. So you mentioned the, the renovations of some of the existing rides at Knott's, and you've had Wonder Mountains Garden, and you've had Voyage of the Iron Reef. You've talked a lot in the past about the, I think it's called Amusement Dark, right? Amusement Dark. Are you going to be seeing more of that? Because I think there were some people who expected that to be what Cedar Point's edition was for this year. The, the, I would tell you as important as this launch was uh, today and over this weekend, I've spent most of this last week working on an Amusement Dark portfolio. So I'm um, trying to figure out what the right storylines are, what the right devices are, you know, tech, what technology you want to use, and, and how do we get more capacity so we can put it in a large park. There is no doubt to me in my mind that a park like Kings Island or a park like this would be thrilled to have an amusement dark ride. I rode uh, Voyage to the Iron Reef just again last week. It's one of the best things we've ever done. 
and it's just fun. And so we're trying to solve for the larger parks, although Nats is now one of the larger parks, how do you do it if you got 40,000 people here and only 10% can ride it? So that's what we're trying to solve. Mm -hmm. So is that something we're going to see everywhere once you get that last piece of the puzzle? Well, there's, the I think it, out? I, I would love to have it everywhere. Okay. You know, and, and that's the other thing we're looking at. We're looking at different size of attractions so that even a park that's smaller, like Valley Fair, mm -hmm. can get it. So uh, Worlds of Fun can get it. And I think we've solved, I, I, I think this week we solved it mechanically. Now we've got to solve it creatively. So, so you, you're obviously a very busy guy. Before you choose a design to put into one of your one of the parks at Cedar Fair, do you do uh, do you do market research? We'll call it. How we, many well, how many or how many dive coasters were you on before Val Raven? So I was on zero. Okay. But Rob Decker uh, and Richard Zimmerman, my chief operating officer, along with others, uh, of course, did the bush parks, the two that exist in this country. Uh, and came back with their ideas of what to, how to do to make it a little bit better, which, you know, with deference, I love the bush parks, but with deference to them, this is better. Uh, and so, no, but the one thing we do a lot of market research on is spend time on uh, is where's the soul of the park? So, like, Nats Berry Farm, what's the soul? And the farm is the soul, the roots that came from that. In Carowinds, it's where the two Carolinas come together. It literally sits on the, mm -hmm. the border. This park is the world's best coasters so it isn't hard to think about putting a coaster in this park um, and so no you, what I always tell people is you've got to do the research you got to know the numbers but if you've been in the industry 25 or 30 years you get a vote and so the Rob Deckers and the Richard Zimmermans they take all that in and then they get a vote so all right I gotta go okay all right Oops. thanks a lot Matt thank you we appreciate it Real pleasure